What's happening Virgo? It's Robin here. Welcome to the channel. So this is Aries Fire Tarot and I'm going to do a general reading for September mid-month. I can't believe it's September mid-month already. But anyway guys, thanks so much for being here. I'll be using the Gilded Tarot deck. I just showed you some of the cards and I've been just busy shuffling them in the background while we chat. So, you know, I do say general reading because I, I hope this resonates with every viewer that stops by but you know it might not so just keep that in mind when you're watching the video and if this doesn't resonate you might just need a private reading or feel free to check out any other tarot card reader on YouTube and I'll see you back here another time so I'm probably going to combine essential tarot along with the Gilded Tarot. I feel like doing a layered read this time. And this will be an intuitive reading. So what I'm gonna do is just move the camera down so you guys can see the cards unfold as we do the reading. So I'll go on a pause and I'll be right back. One sec. Okay, so I hope this view is okay. You can let me know in the comments and let me know what you think of the reading in the comments too, guys. And um, while you're doing that, um, if you wanted to subscribe, if you're not a current subscriber, that really helps me keep my channel going and provide all these free readings that I do for you guys. Um, okay, I feel like I need to do one more shuffle. Oops, all right, that's good. I'm just gonna do a quick deck cut here and I'm gonna take this card to start your reading off with. I'm doing like eight to 10 cards for the reading. Just to get you guys a good intuitive read here. So you've got the sun here. So the sun, this is a pretty powerful card. I really like what I'm seeing here so far. Um, I'm just getting this vibe that you guys are entering like a, I'm just getting the word powerful over and over and over again. You know, sorry for the pause, but um, like what's going on in your life right now that you're feeling really, really able to move forward in a way that you might never have before. So I'm just gonna grab the essential tarot car cards and I wanna clarify this, the sun right away. I'm just getting the feeling like you have a lot of support right now, and if you don't have the support right now, it could be coming in for you. And it could be um, people you know, but I'm getting the impression that it's going to be somebody that you don't know. Just one sec, let's see what's going on here. So it's like you're getting a little bit of a boost to continue on your path, because we've got the three of wands. I think I have a, a overkill on the lights here, just one second. Um, okay, no. So three of wands, it shows somebody on their journey. So this is you on your journey and you're still, you've got about a third of the way to go and it's like you're standing there waiting for something to happen. You know, you're waiting for ships to come in and I really see someone coming in to help you with the sun card. You notice that sun is the same here. I don't know why I needed to bring that up, but I did. So pretty intriguing cards to start off with. I feel like it's a little bit cloaked in a mystery though. It's like there's still some secrets that have to be told through the cards. So let's keep going, you guys. Oops, that's the downside of showing the, the, the reading is you guys get to see me fumble the cards constantly. Okay, all right. Really cool, really cool combination of cards. Somebody is going to help you into the next stage because you either don't know what to do or you do know what to do, but you don't wanna leave your current life behind. Like really check out the similarity in the poses here. You're waiting for something to happen. You have the eight of cups, so you're technically feeling done with where it is in your life right now because you wanna move forward. Um, you know, you've got four standing upright cu cards, cups, and four knocked over. So it's like you're on the fence. So something is gonna happen here. Something, I'm, I'm getting more of the sense that it's someone with the sun card. 
they're going to help you um, surmount some sort of, I'm getting the word impasse. It really just, for some of you, you don't know what to do next and some of you, you, you know what to do, but it's going to mean um, taking a leap of faith. So this could be like your spirituality, spirituality kicking in. It could be like a physical person. Let's just clarify this one more time here with another card. Are you kidding me? Eight of Cups, again. So if you think two times 78 cards, because I'm using two decks, and you've got the Eight of Cups twice, like I'm really seeing a, a stuck energy here. But this person is more apt to walk away. Like the, you'll see there's a little bit of a different structure here. This person is ready to go and this person is still torn. There's definitely somebody coming in to help you out here and still more secrets to reveal in these cards. Wow. Unbelievable, two of wands. I feel like some of you feel like your life is like Groundhog Day. And if you've never seen that movie, please watch it. It's Bill Murray and absolutely hysterical. But I'm getting the feeling that like what I'm seeing here, and when I say I get the feeling, it's because the cards are giving me the feeling, right? My spirit guides are giving me the feeling. It's like you've been going around and around and around, you know, and um, it's like nothing ever changes. And nothing has changed because something in you needs to change. We've got the two of wands and the three of wands. And again, there's this great big long road ahead of you. I'll do another card here. And then we've got the two of pentacles. So it's like you're doing busy work to avoid making a great big decision to sort of jump off the ledge, um, seeing that you might not understand that there's a safety net. Um, the only way to fly is to jump out of the nest, you guys. Um, so this is really interesting here. You have angel numbers 2288. You might wanna write that down and have a look and see what the angel message is for you after this reading. So let's keep building up what's going on here, see what is truly happening for you. And who's going to come in and help you guys? It's like clear that you've been stuck for quite some time, sort of like bobbling back and forth on a teeter-totter. It's like, okay, I'm going to really do it this time. And then, well, you know, it's kind of safe and cozy here. So I'm just going to hang out here a little bit longer. But, you know, there, you can only delay for so long, you know, and then it's not a plan anymore. It just... It's just a list. Okay. I, what? We've got the sun card. Again, you've got multiples of eight of cups and the sun. I, I really just feel like somebody really upbeat and powerful and strong and they could be, um, a fire sign for you guys Aries Sagittarius Leo then you've got the nine of cups it's somebody definitely with a high energy um, really happy person I've got the nine of cups that just flew out here you know you're gonna recognize this person intrinsically when um, they come into your life there's definitely somebody coming in to give you a hand to get you out of sort of this it's not even a quicksand it's like a, a thick sticky mud that you're stuck in and it's like the more that you try to lift up your feet the more stuck you get and it's like procrastination seems to be the best friend here but it's not really it's keeping you where you are at and that is not where you want to be so that's why you're so torn and the more you think about it um the more stuck you get okay all right, this is the card that you guys definitely needed to see right now. We've got the um, Magician. So this means that 
you're able to create anything that you want in your life, you guys. You don't have to really wait for an invitation from the universe to live your life because you've got everything you need already right now. It's just, I think that you're not quite looking at it. So, and then we've got the devil card that popped out and it's like, I'm seeing that sort of a stop and start behavior. It could be like a, a repeated pattern. Like again, that groundhog day, like, yeah, I'm gonna get up and get this done today and move on, but then something keeps you stuck there. And then you wake up and tell yourself the next day, well, yeah, I'm gonna try again today, but oh, something happened, so I'm just gonna try again tomorrow. So it's like, you almost need to be your own biggest advocate here and you need to kick this energy out where you're sort of stuck in the, the comfort of the day-to-day -day life. You know, no really big success ever really happens without taking a risk. And I'm seeing that there isn't a lot of that energy happening right now, but here it is. Here's the magician. This is the guy that gets, his, gets it done. But I just don't think you're seeing this in you. I'm almost feeling like somebody is giving you a hard time and making you stay there too. Let me move this down because I pulled way more cards than I wanted to, than I had planned on. I'm gonna pull another card in here, you guys. So you've got the four of rods. So you will definitely have something to celebrate once you get going. Once you're able to really commit to the plan of moving forward, I want you to look at something here. So you've got the two of wands where you're kind of standing and kind of staring and seeing, oh, well, that's gonna be a really long road. I'm not sure if I wanna take it. Look how far away those mountains are. The mountains are my goal, but geez, are you kidding me? And then there's all these choices. Well, there's two, but how am I ever gonna decide? So you go a little bit of a ways and you're like, well, now I'm stuck here at the water and I have no way across, I missed the boat. You know, why don't they come back for me? Are the ships coming in? Are they coming back or what's happening here? So just a little bit of chaotic thinking there, but the four of rods here just shows that if you persevere, you're gonna have everything to celebrate. And you know what I'm getting here right now from this devil card is, have you ever heard that phrase, the monkey on your back that holds you um, back? That's what I'm seeing here. Um, it's like sometimes you're your own best friend and you're also your own worst enemy. So you keep on listening to these excuses or reasons why tomorrow would be a better day to start something than today. There's no perfect time to start anything, you guys. The perfect time is now. Um, you just really don't want to take another trip around the sun without getting a little bit closer to your goal. And again, you've got this busy work here. Um, you know, sort of like the preparation stage keeps on extending itself. Um, I'm, I'm being guided here to pull another Gilded Tarot. I'm feeling a really scattered um, energy here. So I, I just really wanna know who's gonna come in and help you guys get a little bit unstuck. I'm not seeing a particularly bad experience in the past, just maybe um, a little bit lost and confused about how to um, move forward and maybe a little bit worried about losing people. But you know, sometimes that's just life, you know, not everybody's destined to be in your life for the rest of your life. So here, let's pull another card here. So whatever you're planning and moving forward and being a little bit stressed out about not being able to, you know, make a go of it, you've got the Ace of Swords here, which is the victory card. There's absolutely no reason to be worried, you guys. You know, worry is is this guy. You know, and, and he's hideous. So let's just turn him over. We don't even need to give him any more of your time because he's had enough of your time. Bye. So I still feel like you guys need one more card. So let me do this. You've got the chariot card. So your energy definitely will be changing here. 
we're just going to put that right over top of the devil because the devil doesn't need to be anywhere in your realm right now. So really, things are going to be changing here for you. But who's coming in? Like, really, who is coming in here? Who's coming in for Virgo right now to help? <laughs> I can't get rid of him. I can't get rid of the devil. So it's definitely going to be you coming in for yourself. And the devil is just saying, all right, it's time to really pick yourself up and move along. You know, if you've got a bad habit or a, or a process or, you know, your thoughts that are keeping you um, in this sort of circular reference, you're going to have to be the one that conquers that. But I still see somebody coming in. And like I said, I do believe it's a Leo Sagittarius or an Aries that's going to sort of like help you pull your finger out so you can get motivated. Because I'm seeing that you have really big goals here. And right now they're dreams because you're, you're sort of not taking any action for it. So in order to make a dream a goal, it has to be real. You know, you have to start making definite plans to do that. So um, I'm, I'm just in shock that this card came out again. Um, but at least he's much more glamorous than the previous one that we've hid here. So you do have a lot of energy with the chariot and the sun twice and, you know, to move you forward. But that's got to outweigh the, um, the sort of apathetic energy that's, that's holding you there. And if it's somebody that is not wanting you to move forward... I think they kind of need to get out of your way so that you can live your life here, guys. You've had a great opportunity and, you know, you've got the the Ace of Swords. And, you know, this guy, I guess he's he's not so bad. You know, he can really motivate you um, if you let him. Instead of, like, using your... Hold on for a second. Yikes. Huge coffee fit. Sorry about that. So you don't have to listen to him when he's like, oh, everything's fine. You can just sit down and it'll happen tomorrow. You don't have to listen. You can just say, yeah, thanks for the advice, but I'm going to get up and make my dreams into reality. So that's what is happening here, you guys. And you're going to do very, very, very well. You know, you're going to have a lot of reason to celebrate and you do have the Ace of Swords victory. So it's just a matter of really following the initiative and removing all the negative thinking or the um, temptations along the way because the devil can sort of represent temptation also. So release all of that and focus. Um, I'm seeing a real need here to focus and just really apply yourself to what you want to do for the next six to 12 months and just focus on that completely and don't worry about failing. Don't even think about failing. Like failure is not an option. So go out there and be your biggest cheerleader and just know that somebody is coming in to help you if you're feeling stuck and don't know where to go. Um, somebody is about to cross your path. So don't worry about that. Don't worry about anything. Just Start putting one foot in front of the other and everything is going to turn out uh, pretty groovy here for you guys. So anyway, um, I'm just going to wrap up the video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope this gives you a little bit of inspiration. So I think I've got to go because, you know, coughing. All right. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye.